Your words don't mean what they used to mean. They were once inspired. Now they're all. Hello, I'm Paul Carr. My name is Sharon Clark. And please come hear us perform at the Mid-Atlantic Jazz Festival, February 13th, 2015, at the Hilton Hotel at 7 o'clock. Well, joining us on the set uh, will be Alan Johnson, a wonderful pianist, Michael Bowie, just a terrific bass player, and uh, he's been on many of my CDs, as well as Sharon's. We have a youngster in the band, uh, Aaron Sieber. He's a former Jazz Academy member. He's getting a lot of momentum in playing in New York. We also will be pre uh, premiering some uh, selections from our upcoming uh, CD. I'm so excited to be rolling out some of the new tunes that we're going to do. Uh, for the concert. We've had so much history between Paul and me and um, this next CD that's coming out is really going to be special and I hope you all come to get a couple snippets of what's going to be going on. The tenor sax of uh, tenor saxophone um, voice is very very similar to the human voice and so it's just something about the marriage between the vocalist and the tenor saxophone that just seems to go together really well and the thing about Sharon and I, you know, we worked together for years uh, at, at a place called the Tacoma Station. Her, her vocal style and my playing style just seemed to kind of like go together without actually, naturally. We've been, we've been at it a long time and I really was excited about doing the record because I wanted to document and share some of the moments that we've had, a very special moments. I, I, some of my best playing has actually been, you know, with uh, Sharon right next to my side. I've always noticed that the tenor saxophone was more like the human voice. It happens also to be my very favorite instrument, and I listen to tenor players all the time. The instrument just exudes warmth, and that's what I try to put across in my singing, and I think we bounce off each other very well. One of the earliest ones that I remember uh, pairing with a, a, a vocal and tenor sax would be Billie Holiday and uh, Lester Young. And uh, I think there's some, actually some footage of, uh, that I've seen of them playing together, and I certainly have recordings of them. That was actually probably how I kind of patterned my um, use playing with a vocalist, you know, not to play too much, not you know, to answer, echo, uh, not to overstate, because really, in my opinion, you know, when, when the vocalist comes on uh, stage, you know, it's his or her, her show. And I'm there just to, you know, just to ornament. And when it's my time to shine, shine. And of course, the classic one would be uh, Cannibal Adderley and, um, and Nancy Wilson. Funny story, that, that song, Never Will I Marry, I actually played that song first with, with, uh, with Sharon. I had a, a secret, I had never really heard the song before. And I just liked it. So then I did some research and found out that uh, Nancy Wilson and Cannonball had did it. So that I went ahead and started burning up that record, listening to it over and over again. I don't make any changes to my singing to allow for the instruments. The instruments all know that I'm the queen bee when I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't, you're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Sharon's, uh, Sharon is a vocalist. I mean, she's an instrumentalist herself. <laughs> I really don't even think of, think of her as, as being a vocalist. She's just, she, she's just on stage and she's playing. When we talk about gigs, we, I talk about her, can you play this gig or can you play this? She's just another instrumentalist to me, you know. I listen to a lot of Ella Fitzgerald, of course, and Sarah Vaughan, of course. They're, they're like the jazz, well, they're, the big, they're part of the big six. I listened to them extensively, and um, I listened to horn players just so that I wouldn't get into the habit of doing exactly what the, I heard the vocalists do. Horn players, um, they have to breathe just like me, and so you can get your phrasing from them, unless they're doing that circular breathing thing, <laughs> which is so unfair. For this new CD, we used that uh, John Coltrane, Johnny Hartman template. And so we're going to be doing songs along that line. Uh, one in particular that is uh, John Coltrane, a uh, specialty of mine to say it over and over again. That's going to be done on Friday night. This new CD that we're doing is going to be very laid back. I mean, just the simplicity of having the voice along with instruments. No big bells and whist whistles, complicated arrangements. These are just songs from the heart, 
and songs done in the jazz way. We were in a recording session one time and we were listening back and, and she was singing all of these kind of like diminished things and some doing some flat nines and all this kind of stuff so the music people would know what I'm talking about. So I asked Sharon, I said, did you, have you like really practiced? Did you know, know that? She says, oh, I said, what, that line that you just played, what, what did you, oh, I heard Charlie Parker do that, you know? <laughs> so that's, that's what she told me. And, and so we were, we were just kind of amazed by the things that she was singing, because they were, they were horn lines, you know? So her, her, her scatting is, 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 is quite formidable. So I'm just glad she doesn't play tenor saxophone. <laughs> But getting back to the new project, the Johnny Hartman, Col uh, John Coltrane record is one of those classic records that's played year after year. Everyone has it in their collection. When friends come over, they're having dinner, they put it on, you hear it in movies all the time. And this, that's kind of the one, the kind of like the record that, that, that we wanted to make, a record that, you know, people will actually listen to and they will, they will, they will have it and keep it in that collection for years and years and use it in, in certain situations when the feeling comes over them. You know? I'm really glad to see Sharon as being recognized for her brilliance as a vocalist and she's uh, uh, touring all over the world uh, constantly and she just happens to live in the, the, the same town that I do and we, we you know, form this uh, partnership. Actually, it's not a surprise to me because I probably predicted this years ago. You know, I, already, I, could, I could see it coming, so I'm just glad to see it happening for Sharon. And I'm so glad that Paul is doing this project with me. This is a milestone. I think it's going to be one of the great ones, like he said before, and I'm so happy that he chose me. <laughs> she chose me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, everybody come. I would love to see you there on Friday night. And don't stop at Friday night. Buy something for the whole weekend because I guarantee you, you're going to have a fabulous weekend. Meet mine. I'm afraid this masquerade is over. And so is love.